Hey guys, it's Lisa Mullen here. I am the author of the Chosen series and the Goodbye Trilogy um, and a couple other little novellas and uh, some stories that are coming out soon. I am here with Chapter One Live. Love Chapter One Live. Totally excited to be here. Um, I've been excited to uh, get on to YouTube and be a part of the other authors that are doing this um, amazing um, venture <clears throat> with Tally Alexander. And so uh, if you like my story, I'm going to be reading from book one of The Plastic Confidence. It Goodbye. is the first in the Goodbye Trilogy. It is a standalone. Um, as far as the genre, it's been kind of a tough deal for me to figure that one out. Uh, it's probably a rock star suspense new adult romance and I think I'm the only one in that category so I know Amazon doesn't have the category um, which is kind of a bummer but anyway I'm gonna read a bit to you about uh, from Plus of Confidence today and I hope that you'll like it and want to click on the link below to read some more for yourself um, so we're going to start with the prologue. Again, this was released in August um, 18th, August 18th, 2014. Prologue, 2009. I woke up singing Don McLean's American Pie again. It wasn't the first or the last time with the up-tempo opening notes that would startle me awake. No, I most certainly did not write the book of love. And God... Well, we still weren't on speaking terms. I went hand in hand with the nightmare or dream or whatever it was. Memories. It was the memories from one summer when I was 12 years old and lost a great chunk of my innocence. This morning, however, was different for one reason. I woke up naked and sweating, smelling like body odor and sex. I felt like I was going to throw up. The dream was so real this time. I was living it all over again, and I didn't fucking want to. I wished there was a button I could press or a pill I could take that would erase that one stupid summer from my brain. I would pay millions of dollars, travel to any psychic healer, invest in any drug company, and maybe even cut off a finger. I would do anything. I just wanted it gone from my brain. Grace Miller, Jason, number two, Emmy, Angie. Those were the kids from my past that were making their casual and unwanted appearances in my present. It wasn't the dreams necessarily that haunted me, but this one was so extremely vivid that it left me feeling like I was missing something. Over the years, I had purchased every dream book out there, from the murder, to the Ouija board, to the night I lost my virginity, the books all said that I was facing a big change. A brand new path. It was time to let go of what is comfortable. Whatever it was, it had been years and my path was steady and solid. No changing paths now. My life was pretty fucking great. I rolled over to try and locate the blankets, but found a blonde-haired, tatted-up hunk of sex laying next to me. In my hotel bed. In the morning. Oh, hell no. Sure, he was cute, but I was most definitely too far gone last night to kick his ass out after we screwed. I racked my brain as I tapped my fingers to my head. Oh, he kissed like a lizard, but that was okay when he went down south. No shit. That was the guy from the night before. Oh, he was the one that had the small dick, but still not had to use it. Actually, pretty well. Multiple times. Yes, that was why he was still here. I was too exhausted after three hours of him pleasuring me. Still, it had to be done. I smacked his shoulder. Wake up, Casanova. Time to hit the road, I shouted at him. He groaned, and as he rolled his eyes over to face me, he slowly opened his eyes. Jules Delaney, he smiled, as he, too, remembered who he was in bed with. Up and at him. Now you have to get out. I was a little more forceful with my tone. 
What? Why? We could, you know, he said suggestively as he started for my neck. I pushed his face back with my entire palm, hard. Hell no. You were lucky that I didn't toss you at four o'clock this morning. Time to go, I repeated, and I swear to fucking God, if he didn't listen this time, I would start screaming rape. Grace Miller was raped. Shut up, shut up, shut up. So that's about all the time that I have to read. Again, I'm here Not with Chapter much. One Live. Uh, if you liked the sound of my book or uh, the sound of my writing, go down there, click on my links to my Amazon. Also, you can click on other authors' um, links. And uh, yeah, so excited to be here. Thanks for listening. You guys all have a great day. Bye.